welcome everyone to Rain Caves and welcome to a new little mini se MLB The Show series on the channel. MLB The Show 22 relocation franchise, kind of the introduction episode, but episode one where we go over the, the team of the Las Vegas Gamblers. So... Oh, this is just an introduction, but here's a little thing about how it went down. So, the the owner of the Oakland Athletics thought, you know what? Let's see if we can move Oakland before the 2022 season starts. And they did. But they didn't ha like spending much money. So, what they did was they created literally they didn't like spending much money so they just went out and built the basis of the stadium known as the desert of las vegas nevada they only have have the titan tron which yes it is really dumb and they don't have much seats because obviously they don't have much they don't like spending most of their money I mean who wants to play in Las Vegas I know I wouldn't but by the man but the owner was fired and a man by the name of of Mike Bottom actually no a man by the name, yeah, of Mike Bottom, bought the Oakland Athletics at the end of the season, and obviously moved them to Las Vegas, and he didn't have much, so all he did was buy a concession stand, two cold drink stands, and only could afford three old bleachers. But don't worry, this stadium will grow as time goes on. But for right now, Mike Bottom doesn't have much. All he has is these canyons and the scoreboard. And they can't, and the fans really can't get much of the players. Now, let's take a look at the starting nine, at least the starting lineup for the Las Vegas Gamblers for next episode of week one of for the first game, I should say. Starting off in center field is 67 overall, John Sweet Fargus. Best stat is his arm accuracy with a 97. He'll play opening day for us. Of the game, and definitely will not be as great as most players, but he is Puerto Rican, so that should be something. At second base, we have Andy Burns. Hi, he's got decent contact, and hopefully he'll hit the ball well. Even with his fielding at second base, he is still old age, but can play all sorts of positions where we need it. A former Oakland Athletic himself, Stephen Piscotti, will be starting out in right field. His hitting stats look great, and his power will definitely lead to a little bit of home runs. That's what we need from the team, at least. In left field, possibly a rising star on the Las Vegas Gamblers, Clint Frazier. Starting out in left field, can play all the outfield for us. Arm accuracy, well. Discipline and clutch, well. Powers, nice. Can hit, hopefully hit home runs. Will be a nice little cleanup hitter. Tyreek Reed. Will be starting at first base, but can also play left and right field in the corner outfield. As his hitting stats are okay. Fielding is decent. Speed as well. Well, he is a young man from Mississippi. Our starting catcher will be Bo Naylor. But don't worry, it's going to be a battle of the catchers. Because we also have Tyler Malone, a 24-year-old. So Bo Naylor and Tyler Malone. We'll battle it out for the battle of the catcher. But Bo Naylor will be getting the opening day start for the Las Vegas Gamblers. While the hitting stats 
are decent. The speed is pretty speedy. A Canadian catcher with that arm strength will be decent enough. Our designated hitter, if we have our designated hitter, if we do have it, we designated hitter pretty much will be John O'Bride. He's got decent hitting stats. Fielding is decent, but that doesn't matter. His hitting stats are decent. At least that's all that matters for a DH. At third, we have Jordan Diaz, the young Colombian player. Third base, decent fielding stats. Contact and power are decent. And last but certainly not least, at second, or at, actually at shortstop, Christian Lopez, or Lopes, I should say. I am sorry. Christian Lopes will be starting at shortstop but can play second base mainly. Hitting stats are all right. Fielding is decent. Not the best li but not the best lineup though, at least for wise. And, but now let's show you the opening day starter. And the opening day starter will be Glenn Odo of the loss of this team. De his bucks per nine are not not well, they're down in below the 40s. But his stamina and 8 hits per 9 are really good, as well as his break. He's got a nice pitch mix with a 4-seam slider, 12-6 curve, 2-seam, and circle change. And we'll definitely be on the lookout for Glenn Odo on the mound. Some other, some other starters we have are William Woods, Zach Logue, Daniel Castano, and Adam Aller are the starting nine. I mean, starting five looks and looks terrible. This was just looks like what you see in a minor league game. As for the bullpen, a starter is here in Jared Koenig. We'll be battling it out with probably Daniel Casino, who is a little bit younger than Jared Koenig, but by one year. And then, or, uh, then Zach Johnson, Sam Stillman, Sam Mull. Austin Pruitt, AJ Puck, and Domingo Tapa of is our bullpen. But it might be AJ Puck hopefully getting the closing job for the gamblers. This team looks awful. But don't worry. This team will get stronger. And the goal of this is to at least use win the World Series. Once we win. I think that'll be the end of the mini-series. This is just something I had in mind. A little fantasy that I had with uh, MLB The Show. Because on a serious note, I have the Zero Overall franchise, and that's already hard enough. But I think this little mini-series will definitely be on e a step forward in the right direction. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. And if not, then we'll just go until we win one World Series. But that is the introduction of the Las Vegas Gamblers. But don't worry. We also have Shea Langers, who looks to be a top prospect. He will definitely, hopefully, be a call-up soon. As he is a catcher, maybe we'll replace Bo Naylor. As well as a young Gennar Hugland. Hopefully can be a great pitcher as the time goes on. As well as Ryan Kuskik. And JT Jin. A lot of young players. A lot of hope for this young team. Even Tyler Soderstrom could definitely be a turnout for us. But for now, it's the battle of Bo Naylor. And Tyler Malone. As next episode, we'll play our first game against the Los Angeles Angels in the desert with only 150 fans. <laughs> well, that's well, ladies and gentlemen, that wraps up the introduction episode of the Las Vegas Gamblers franchise mode. We'll see you all for the first game of. In this series if you guys do enjoy make sure you stop hit that like button and also check out the MLB the show zero overall franchise series as well 
And I will see you all in episode two. Peace.